How's it going? Thanks very much, very kind. Oh, thank you very much. Um, uh, well, I tell you the truth, we, we shot those scenes at uh, 9.30 on a Monday morning in London. So it wasn't it really the sort of the Barry White atmosphere that I had in mind. Um, but you know, it's, uh, you, when you're shooting a sex scene for a movie, you're only going to hope that in celluloid it's a hell of a lot sexier than it is with 50 guys and a camera standing around, you know? Um, or, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, but you know, I was trying to be a gentleman at the same time, be, you know, sexually provocative and animalistic about it. Yeah, it's a fine line. What's that? Oh, I think Scarlett decides the line, you know? I just go with whatever I feel. Um, well, it kind of hasn't sunk in. I know that I've got something heavier in my right hand, but I'm afraid to look at it. Um, but, you know, it, 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 it means that, you know, my, that my peers in the Hollywood Foreign Press Association and the people in the factory town where I work uh, would like to see me do other things. And they think that, you know, that even though, you know, it's, it's there is certain an, an, an element of bullshit, it's not all bullshit, you know what I mean, that I, that I can actually act a bit. Yeah. Uh, and Reese, and also um, as the case of Murchison winning for Lackawanna Blues, there seems to be a musical theme going here with the winners tonight. Yeah. Um, is, is music an aspiration of yours? Um, well, yeah, I love playing music. And my three brothers and my father, they're musicians, you know. Um, uh, but I'm not as talented a musician as the ones that I play. Um, I'm playing a musician in my next film as well. Uh, and I'll have to actually sing. Which uh, which means uh, bring your earplugs. Um, but you know, it's, it, uh, I th it's you know I think music is so important. If you look at any film, you know, um, and you see these beautiful images and these beautiful performances that people make, it's what you hear is just as vitally important. So when Yo Yo Ma creates a soundtrack, or you know, or um, you know Ennio Morricone creates a soundtrack, it really tugs at the heartstrings that the director really hopes that will be tugged, I suppose. Yeah, how's it going? So effortless for him. And, um, and um, who, else, who else did I say? I like seeing Johnny Depp as well, because, you know, he's a great idol of mine, you know? My look tonight, uh, bewildered, befuddled. I mean, <laughs> where do you want to go with it? Um, I mean, it's like, it's nice. I, I think I dressed up okay. I scrubbed up well. Thanks. Is there really such a thing as best actor or best picture? And how well does an award such as this represent the best actor? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I think it's, I think it's the, all the people that are nominated and all the movies that are nominated, these are the best films of the year. Trying to pick a best out of that is very, very difficult because films, it's going to be everybody else's perception. I mean, one, one favorite film for you is going to be different for me. Um, so it's kind of like the luck of the draw. Once you're in there, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I've just been lucky, you know. I've worked with uh, very, very talented people that I was able to admire and that have gone on to greater things. And, you know, maybe a little bit of that rubbed off. I'm not so sure. Um, no, 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 it's not a musical, but I play a musician in it. It's a movie called August Rush. Kirsten Sheridan, who wrote in America for her father, Jim is directing this movie about a young, um, a young prodigy at Juilliard, and, uh, and I play his daddy. Isn't that terrible? I'm 28 years old, I'm playing someone's dad, and he's 10. Oh. Uh, no, it, it, it didn't. Because, you know, Elvis did all the singing, thank God, or else I wouldn't be standing here. Um, Elvis did all the singing in it, so, you know, uh, for some reason, I've always gotten on well going for musical films, you know what I mean? There's something, you know, quite musical about my whole vibe, I suppose, I don't know. Yeah, I can hear you. Mission Impossible 3, has yeah. he given you any advice about handling this awards gauntlet that you've been up against? And the most important question, settle this question once and for all, hyphen, no hyphen? No hyphen. Um, and, uh, and Tom, Tom didn't know I was up for the awards when I was making the film with him. But Tom is arguably the biggest movie star in the world. So when he talks, you listen. 
uh, because he's been there and he's done it. And he's, you know, there's nothing that you can say to Tom or, or uh, there's nothing that you can do that he hasn't already seen or heard. Uh, but what I learned from him was, you know, to work hard, be professional, and have really good manners to everybody you meet in the industry. Because at the end of the day, it's the, it's the most collaborative art of all, making a film. I mean, this, this, this award, you know, was given to me tonight, but no one person wins an award. You know, it's, I've got my people working behind me, you know, it's, uh, my agents, and I've got a manager and a publicist and all of these people, and they, they're behind the scenes working day and night and doing all the things that I'm unable to do to get me to this position. And, you know, and, and I think, you know, the best thing to do is have respect and manners for all the people that you're working with, and, and then the work will have respect and manners for you, and Tom taught me that a bit. Uh, no, he didn't, unfortunately, no, he didn't. Uh, to, uh, to, to predict the winners tonight, um, I, I only won once tonight with uh, with uh, no twice actually. Mary Louise Parker and Reese Witherspoon. Jonathan. I won twice. Jonathan, sir. Yeah, yo, where are you? Right here. Oh yeah, hey. Hi. In your opinion, who? What makes a great leading man? Um, what makes a great leading man? Uh, he's got to be a very very generous actor, and he's got to be a good person. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure what makes a great leading man. I mean, to me, the ultimate leading man is Gregory Peck. Because, you know, he was an action hero and he was masculine, but he was very sensitive, as you saw him playing um, Atticus Finch. I mean, you know, it takes a great man to play a role like that. Thank you. Thank you, My pleasure. Good luck.